What's going on, everyone? Welcome to episode 48 of Little Root Lessons. As always, I'm your host, Carter Noble, joined by our fantastic co-host, Carl Wilkin. What's up, man? So, shortly after we recorded last week's episode... Literally, like, three hours <laughs> later. Uh, they did Pokemon did what I said they were going to do. They released it Thursday night. Uh, our new band, our new series is Series 8 with uh, one restricted Pokemon. So it's like half a GS cup. Yeah. It's real interesting. Um, you and I have been playing stuff on uh, the casual ladder all week in preparation, just trying to throw out stuff, getting people to look at, hey, these things are actually viable. These things are good. And honestly, I haven't played a team yet that's been like, all right, this one kind of sucks. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll probably get to that on Saturday. Ho-Oh is... Not looking too hot right now. Ho oh, I feel like Ho oh can do really good things. I'm just trying to utilize it in the wrong way, probably, but we'll figure it out. Um, I haven't really had any issues. Like anything felt super, super bad. There's been stuff that felt super, super strong. Oh yeah, I've you know the, I've only played two at this point. Um, I'm playing my third one. Probably recording it tomorrow. Same. <laughs> and uh, the uh, like minus one. Uh, the first game with the Evolto team. I haven't lost a game yet. <laughs> um, I lost a couple games, my first one, because I didn't know my Kyogre's speed tier until like yep. halfway through the episode. Which I'm really surprised um, when you, when the first time, like the first time you, uh, there was something out on the field. Like, instinctively I would have been like, alright, I need to see how fast this thing is. Before I'm just like, yeah, sure, it's probably good enough. Especially especially with rentals, just because I don't know them in and out. Uh, you actually can't check them until you're in-game. Yep, which and sucks. So it's just like, I just didn't even think about it. You you can in the, when you, like, in team preview, you can go in and yeah. check. But you but can't. You have to be in. Yeah, you, you can't unless you're literally prepping for a match. Yeah. Um, the, the so fact then that you have to waste time and yeah. things like that, so it's just like extra stuff. But uh, the I, fact that the the check screen on the team won't let you doesn't let you look at the individual wands is stupid. Yeah, but you know it's whatever. At least you get to see what moves they have. Yeah, that's cool. Um, <laughs> which I uh, Atomic Penguin and I had a big old hash out last night about that. I was like, it's like he's like, oh, we like we outspeed Zacian at Tailwind with Tailwind at that at twelve EVs. I'm just like, but that. Doesn't mean Zacian's anything. not the threat. Zacian's not the threat if you because you're not Dynamaxing this thing. You're usually just like, I'm gonna just w water spout you to death. Uh, he also has Kyogre in Draft League, so he sent me. Uh, him and I were working on stuff for his match mm -hmm. last night, and he he sent me his team. He's like, "Hey, what do you think of this?" I'm like, "All right, first off." Is your speed stat on your Kyogre actually meaningful? Because if not, you need to change this. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I actually did math this time and it works. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray. I'm like, because if you're doing this, you need to make sure that you're the fastest thing. You need to go fast. He's like, yeah, it has you to be to be It's good enough. I'm like, okay, man. I don't think anybody in his pod has Reggie Alecky, though, so he doesn't have to worry about that. No, but uh, his opponent does have Zacian and Dragapult this week. Yeah, so yeah, so that's that's whatever. Being able to get outspeed those guys, that's fine. Also has Spirit Tomb. A mod that like No it, one It's so cool, man. I love Spirit Tomb, but it's not good. Yeah. And the only reason I even like it is just because like it's on Cynthia's team and it's the only way you ever get to see it in game. Yep. Because like back then, the Online services for the DS were just... It, it, maybe it was just my internet, but they were so bad I couldn't use them. <laughs> so I couldn't actually obtain a Spirit Tomb endgame. And of course now I'm pretty sure they're all dead back from then. So you're not going to be able to get one with the old marks or anything on it. Yeah. Um, outside of that, yeah, Kyogre, Kyogre was kind of a flop because of the speed tiers on it. Uh... Calyrex Shadow, I won first two, and then I lost a really close one against us in the Crosma. And if I had played a little bit cleaner and stalled out an extra turn of Trick Room, I think I would have picked that one up pretty cleanly. The Groudon team I played, which, yeah, that'll be up after this goes up, before mm -hmm. this goes up. It'll be up. Go yeah. watch it. It's great. 
It, it, that team was actually that very good. That team was fire. It was very, very good. That is probably what I'm using to grind the ladder early. I will, yeah. Uh, I, I made a comment the other night. I think it was yesterday afternoon. I'm just like, man, I really wish ladder was up because I just want to grind a master ball right now. Yeah. It's like, I want to play, but I don't want to play on showdown, and I don't want to play on a casual ladder. Like, I have my team. I just want to play it. Yeah. Um... Which we don't have anything to play for Players Cup three wise, but everybody else does. Um, yeah. Everybody who qualified, we don't know who who all qualified, but we'll probably know here shortly. I think it's in March, so they'll probably announce it mid February. Yeah, not not it. Yeah, definitely not it. I didn't even play. <laughs> See, not it. I I had an okay PC three. Um, I had I been able to play more games, I would have would have been fine. Had I also played with the, um. The Blastoise set that Navier was playing with the week before that I played on laddering. So, like, I knew those damage counts better than mine. Mm-hmm. So, just like, hmm, this doesn't, this isn't doing, like, any damage. Yeah. This is bad. You you were used to life for Blastoise and not the yep. bulky assault vest yep. variant. It was fine. It was, it was a fun team. Uh, the next week I worked on a lot of Rhyperior because I thought it was super underrepresented. And then we got uh, Series 8 rules, and I'm like, all right, Rhyperior sucks again. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Fr- friendship ended with Rhyperior. <laughs> so, dust, dust being the cross of a new best friend. Basically, yeah. <laughs> um, so, what do we got here? We got, uh, we're going to do our tier list here today, probably, of all the re- re- legendary mods. We talked about them last episode and what they can do. We talked about a handful of them. Like, in the in the mindset of GS Cup, because yep. you're going to have two, so you have access to two, so, like, you use pairings and things like that. Like, Yvalta was rated very highly because it can do both the offensive and supportive roles and everything like that. Well, now you're limited to one. So it really comes down to how much of an impact can this mod make versus... What other support can I build around this mod? Like that's mm-hmm. that's really what it comes down to is how how offensive of a threat do you want versus how supportive of one? And we, you know we're gonna we're gonna talk about it in depth here quite a bit, but yeah, this is probably this is gonna be the majority feels, of the episode for those that are. It feels like the supportive ones are. They're going to be weaker. less representative for sure now because in a format where you got two, you can play a support one and then play, and it'd be fine. Because you're not overly reliant on it being the hallmark of like your Like, you don't team. have to have it be the damage dealer. Yeah. Uh, straight off the bat. But, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be uh, looking at that. So, let's go ahead and get that pulled up here. Yeah. Do you do the magic webcam thing. Yeah. Beautiful. That. Power of being prepared. So, notably, uh, the super ultra mega high tier of getting the bag already has the, the two mods that we're not even going to touch. Yeah, we're not even going to talk about these two. Um, there is a meme running around with uh, Foofy and Cosmoem. I don't know what they're doing. It was like there's Chansey and it, those It involves and... Chansey and Shuckle, a Lipard, a Hatterene. Yeah, there's a million. I'm just like, it, 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 it's literally six mods and that's all it does. And it involves like trick rooming and guard specking and ally switching and trick and like it, it, I confusing. don't know what it does, and I'm not going to play it unless someone pays me a big pile of money. Which, you already have Breakfast Club lined up here, so you might want to be careful. I'm probably I'm probably going to stream that tomorrow morning. Probably just load it up on have Showdown. They got a, have they got it? Oh, just, I was yeah. going to say they're going to spill it on Showdown. Yeah. Uh, Navier's like, yeah, or, yeah, it was Navier, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's like, yeah, just play it on Showdown. I'm like, all right, that's way less work for you, too. Yeah, that's, that's easy, then. Um... Pretty so, sure someone just died I'm in the kitchen. I was about to say, yeah, someone died in the kitchen. Uh, That's the second time this week someone's almost died in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> um, and if, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, you need to go watch my draft league video when that goes up. Yeah. Uh, we're probably not going to do commentary over it. I'm probably just going to upload yours and mine. Yeah, I figured just, that just was the plan. Just unedited VODs just up there. You um, might want to edit mine just a little. Um. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. You have a, 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 a screaming fire alarm. Look, man, it's not my fault. It's, it's entirely fault. my fault, but still. Anywho, 
getting back on to our draft league tier list, uh, our, like tier list here. Um, notable things here for series eight. We kind of already like predicted series eight with the draft league. Yeah, it's actually great. So we kind of already had a decent idea of what was going to be good, what was going to be bad going into it. Which that doesn't completely translate here because like you're not limited on Pokemon and picks and things like that. But um, some of the Pokemon from Draft League, like it kind of just like translates over a little bit. Yeah, it uh, it translates. It's okay. okay. It's okay. Like, it, it, I mean, not perfect. But granted, in Draft League, uh, there are far fewer of them that you need. To, you're you're going to see less of the same one, obviously. Yeah. So, as a result, some of them are going to be higher and lower on the tier list because, well, how impactful is this exact Mon versus, okay, this one is just viable if these are taken. Yeah. Whereas in this case, it's, okay, well, I can always play with this. If I want, I can always play with this Mon. The rest of them, I can't then, but this one is fine. Yeah. So let's start off with Gen 1, the big, the big, the big Kahuna. Oh, this isn't. Oh, okay. It's not completely it's not in dex completely order. In dex order, but I can. But let's, I have we'll eyes. do it in dex order. So you too. So when we got the series eight rules, I started immediately working on Mewtwo. Yeah, I remember that. I remember it was fine, and then I played Calyrex Shadow and I died, and then I played it again and I died, and then I played Eveltal and I died. Yeah. Um. Mewtwo. When you look at Mewtwo. It's actually really interesting what it can do. You know, it has access to Hurricane, so you can have Airstreams. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, your abilities are kind of both garbage. You have yeah. Pressure or Unnerve. Unnerve's fine, but I feel like people are already going to be playing around Unnerve because of uh, the Calyrex forms in the format. Exactly. So, it, it's not really impactful, especially compared to other abilities that other mods are going to have. Yeah. Um, between, like... You have Psy Strike, Expanding Force. See, I was, I was doing Expanding Force in DD shenanigans with it. And I don't know if the team was just bad or if just Mewtwo as a whole wasn't impressive on the team. But every time I brought it, it just... Like, I, I maxed it and just didn't accomplish anything is what it felt like. Yeah, Calor- like you said, Calorax Shadow definitely gives it a problem. Uh, Your Altal, again, definitely can make it a little bit harder to play with it. Um so I, I I have Mewtwo like kind of like in the lower B's and C's tiers here, just like as a starting point. I think C is probably accurate, um, just as like a starting place for the format. It's you'll probably see it. It's not going to be nearly as common as the others, but what it can do is good. You know it. It can deal a ton of damage carrying, like, Life Orb. If you want the extra bulk, you can slap on Assault Vest. But, you're, I mean, I don't think your defenses are great off the top of my head. I, I could be wrong. I, I really I don't remember. know. But you're, you're in a decent speed tier. The problem is, is for where Mewtwo started, where it was insanely fast, it's definitely fallen to, to Power Creep. Oh, yeah, like, and Power Creep has overswept it here with, like, things like Calyrex Shadow and Crown Zacian and things like that. It just... Even even just, it. like, Dragapult it can be a problem for this yeah. because you're outsped by it. And, like, to be able to deal with it, you need a ton of support for it. So, Mewtwo, I'm very interested in playing with it more once the ladder actually goes up and we can actually see what it can actually do. Mm-hmm. Um, but for now, like... If I'm playing on Showdown or whatever, Mewtwo's not what I'm working on. Yeah. Uh, moving on to Gen 2 here, we'll start with Silver here and go to Lugia. Well, it's ho then Lugia in the decks, right? right? I can't remember. I don't have a Gen 2 poster. I only have the Gen 1 one, so I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's ho and Lugia. I don't care. We'll do them both. <laughs> yeah. One's definitely better than the other, I can tell you that. Is it Lugia? Is no. it because of multi-scale? No. Does it get multi-scale? It's whatever. It's I think it's multi-scale. I'm pretty sure it's multi-scale. I'm going to pull up Showdowns while on my phone so we can actually look at these and see if they actually accomplish anything. Yeah. Uh, so Lugia, uh, known for being very bulky but having almost zero damage. <laughs> uh, it is multi-scale, yes. 
you tank a hit really, really well. Like the first, like like multi skill if you tank all super pressure hits super duper well. You have great defenses to start off anyway. You know your your bulk is one hundred six, one thirty defense, one fifty four special defense. Those are really, really good. good. It's the just, problem is is your speed is one ten, which again is not bad. One ten is a really good speed tier when it comes to these restricted bonds in all actuality. Yeah. But both of your base stats, uh, both of your base attacks are ninety. Yeah. So like, you're not dishing out damage like you would want. Uh, you definitely have to have the weakness policy on Alugia to actually get anything out of it. And in order to get your weakness policy off, you have to break your multi scale, right? Or is it just permanent? Uh, multi scale is one time. One time. Is what Dragonite has. Okay. Um, interestingly, though, we have like looking looking here at. Lugia's move pool. Um, first thing I looked up was actually status status moves, just to see if it had anything that's viable. Um, it gains access to recover, which is actually really good for it. Yeah. Um, specifically compared to like roost, because it it doesn't actually get roost, but it does get recover. Um, calm mind. So like, if you're able to pair this next to a redirector, you can just bulk up in front of them. And that, that's another way to be able to potentially sweep. Mm-hmm. Um, helping Hand, not not actually terrible. Uh, rain Dance, Sandstorm, Sunny Day, so, like, you can control weather. weather that way. Uh, trick, so, like, you could you could, you could could be, like, Choice Scarf's Trick, and actually, like, that, that's a thing for singles. But you could actually do it with Lugia, because you're already really fast. Mm-hmm. So, like, just take one turn off of, okay, well, I'm going to trick this onto you, now you're locked into a choice scarf, and I got a life orb or whatever, and now I can sweep. Yeah. Uh, it's not the worst thing. Um, looking most likely at a special pool, because if we are wanting to sweep, we're going to probably be a calm mindset. Uh, Aerial Blast the first thing that comes to mind. That move hits like a truck. Base 100, 95 accuracy, high crit ratio. Yeah, it's, it's real good. Um, from there we have... Ancient power, not great. Did, did Lugia get expanding force too? It doesn't look like it. That's a yeah. We have psychic and psy shock and extrasensory as uh, special hurricane. But we already we're, we're if we're playing Lugia, we're playing Aero Blast. Yeah. So like that's that's not a concern. Um, Giga Drain, Ice Beam, Shadow Ball, Surf. Okay. The surf thing makes sense. Because yeah. Because it's... The guardian of the sea. Yeah. Uh, thunder and Thunderbolt. Icy Wind. Like, Icy Wind's another good support move. Mm-hmm. Um, past that, though, like, you have Earth Power, too. That's a, that's a weird one. That is a weird one. Overall, not really impressed with Lugia. I think I like Mewtwo more than it, but I don't think I'm going to... Th- yeah, I, I, I think, think it's like... It's, it's worse than Mewtwo just because, like, Mewtwo's a psychic type. It gets, ex- gets expanding force. Like, Lugia's, that in and of itself is worth something. Yeah. Like, Lugia <laughs> doesn't get expanding force, but has a deeper, like, sweep of coverage moves here with, like you said, Earth Power and Giga Drain and Shadow Ball and Icy Wind. and there, There's, like, a set for an Assault Vest Lugia support Lugia that can just, like, sit there and just be a bulky wall and just be annoying with, like, Icy Wind and whatnot. <laughs> So if we go physical, because like we're, we're base ninety, you yeah, might as well it's look. Either way, um, we have dual wing beat, which is fine. That's cool. Earthquake. Okay. Iron head. Okay. <laughs> so because we're not bulky enough. <laughs> yeah, we can just bulk up even more. <laughs> Bulldoze. Do we need a fighting type move? Not physical. Darn. Um. We get scale shot. We get bulldoze, so we could be like fast weakness policy trigger. Yeah. Um. Do we get? Uh, we have zero fighting coverage. Okay. No focus blast. No, no, no focus blast. Actually, it's really surprising to me. So you know, not awful. Yeah. Uh, like you could be like assault vest, physical Dynamax Lugia. That doesn't sound like the stupidest thing I've ever heard. If you want me to be 100% honest, I've done stupider. <laughs> so that's the baseline. Uh, I don't know. This is, this is, it's starting to get a little bit worse for me. I yeah, it's, it's, 
again, I'm probably going to play it at some point. Just, like, just, I, I think that's, just to say you played it, yeah. I think that's the goal for like the first couple weeks is just throw out everything that we possibly can and from there start refining teams yeah. into cohesive, good teams. Yeah. Like, just say, all right, well, here's a Lugia team. It technically has Lugia on it. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, it technically <laughs> can do something. Not um, sure if it's good, but it exists. Yeah. <laughs> uh, moving on to the other one, Ho-Oh here. Uh, this one, this one's all you, bub. So I have been working on Ho-Oh for a while. It's it's a solid B-tier mod. Uh, Ho-Oh has, I believe it's base space defense is like 154. Yeah, it's really high. Uh, I can't remember the speed. I believe the speed's the same as Lugia. The stats were fairly similar, but we uh, we are fire flying. We are fire flying, and we actually can do like physical attacking things. Uh, also notably, our hidden ability is regenerator. Yeah, which is it's a huge real good thing. Um, so the cool part about having regenerator as your hidden ability is you can do like life orb things, and then like brave bird things, and just keep hitting people, and then you switch out. Yep. And you get it all back. And be like, hey, you cool. go back in. Like, and you I, do it again. <laughs> we O code you, took a little bit of chip from whatever you're next to me, and we're out. And we're back. Cool. Uh, notable thing we have to talk about this week uh, we had the Rumble. We have the Rumble to talk about. We do have the Rumble which to talk about. Ho O won the Rumble. Yeah, in the hands of Kaizen. Yeah. Um, we'll, have to, we'll come back. We'll circle yeah. around to that. Yeah. That'll probably be at the end here. But uh, Ho O definitely, definitely is a solid B for sure. Um, Depending on how the format shakes out and what's what's up above it, it could probably get higher. If Zacian and Calyrex Shadow are the things in the format running the running the roost, then Ho Oh definitely gets better because Ho Oh's special defensive bulk makes Calyrex Shadow just look like an idiot. <laughs> yeah. And then it can hit Zacian super effectively and it doesn't really care about its steel or fairy type coverage at all. And it doesn't care about close combat. Like, the only thing you have to worry about is if they're carrying Wild Charge, which that's very rare because a lot of them want to have that close combat to hit opposing Steel types. Yep. Uh, but besides that, Ho-Ho just offers a very decent new pool. It has access, it's the original Sacred Fire user, which gives you access to Burns. Uh, it's Brave Bird. It has access to Earthquake, Rock Slide, Iron Head, a slew of other physical moves. Um... So it's definitely a very strong Dynamax target. You could slap an Assault Vest on this thing and just go Iron Head, Sacred Fire, Brave Bird, Earthquake. Call it a done deal. Be the bulkiest bird in the planet. If you want to ever want to Dynamax the thing, just cool, go for it. Um, outside of that, uh, it definitely has weaknesses. Uh, Reggie Lecky's a problem. Reggie Lecky is a, uh, a big Kyogre, problem for Kyogre her. is a big problem. Yeah. Honestly, we're gonna we're probably gonna talk about Eliki quite a bit. There's yeah. there's quite a few things that it's just like, yep, that that hurts it really bad. Yeah, Eliki is Eliki being the fastest thing is the tier you have to beat now. I think I emphasized this in the Kyogre video. It's like you have to be able to out if you have the capability of outspeeding Reggie Eliki somehow, do you it. Probably need to be doing it. Yep. Uh, it's just you you can't get away with not doing it anymore. Especially since Kyogre is going to be one of the more popular Pokemon in the format, probably because Dynamax Kyogre is just really bulky. <laughs> yeah, it, it's very good. Uh, speaking of the Hoenn trio, I'm going to pull these guys together. Yep. Let's, uh... Let's get into the meat and potatoes here, because this is probably going to be the majority of this one. <laughs> where where do we want to start, man? Uh, I'm going to slap ground up here. Yep. Groudon's 100% going to be an S tier. Sun was strong before without Groudon. And, and now it has the best setter it could possibly It has the have. best setter you could ever have in Groudon. Just by far. It, we have seen a lot of Venu Cole in the last month, month and a half, three months. Um, and now you don't have to play Torkoal. Yeah, now you, now, you don't Now you get to, to play something that can, you know, actually deal a huge amount of damage. What, what What's actually great about Groudon compared to Torkoal is... Venusaur is already a special attacker, and 99% of the time, that's probably what you're going to be doing with Torkoal as well. It's just, like, big eruptions, big heat waves, maybe body press if like, you really want. Yeah, and that's not even, like, actually, like, a, like it's like, I'm using my defense to attack you. Whereas Groudon gets to pair super nicely with it because, like, your 
you're removing your water weakness, which, I mean, you do a Torkoal as well because you have Sun up. Yeah. Um, but past that, like, you have insanely good coverage because you're ground type. Your defenses are great. Your offensive pressure is amazing. There there used to be a special Groudon set that ran around because you could just set Sun and Solar Beam people, and that yep. was good. Yep. It was good enough. <laughs> It was a probably a decent counter to Kyogre because you Kyogres want to go fast. Groudon kind of wants to be the slow one, so you get your sun up all the time. Yeah, and that's that's honestly why um, Groudon's just great. Yep. It, it the big thing that has sold me on Groudon is the fact that it can single handedly answer Zacian while just ignoring it. Yep. I'd be like, all right, well, Zacian's on the field, blades. Yep, just, just click blades. Nothing's going to save this nation. <laughs> like, all right, cool, you're dead. <laughs> outside of it just sitting there substituting every turn, it's never going to get to do it. Which, like, if that's their play, they're losing their other Mon. Yeah. So, K, exactly. <laughs> congratulations, you accomplished nothing this game. Um, Groudon gets access to Fire Punch and Thunder Punch, which are great coverage moves for it. Yeah, Fire Punch being boosted by Sun is really good for it. Um, access a Thunder Punch so it can fight against Kyogre and other water types if it needs to. Um, Iron Head isn't the greatest. It's, like, not necessary. I, Iron Head's fine. Um, I'm currently running Heavy Slam, which is debatably just as good. Yeah. Um, a Outside lot of, of trying to hit a Dynamax, <laughs> yeah. And that's the big thing. Is like, well, they, they maxed a, uh, give me a fairy type off the top of your head. That's gonna Dynamax. Yes, they they max the Feeny in front of me. Well, that's uh, yeah, yeah, that's neutral. Yeah, um, plus, neutral. we have Thunder Punch. So, um, uh, <laughs> I, next one that came to mind was Togekiss, but again, we can just punch it. Yeah. Um, I'm very quickly running out of fairies I care about. Uh, someone could Dynamax a Sylveon, maybe. All right, let's go to Rock types. Those are probably a little more common. But we don't care about Rock types. Yeah, but we have Heavy Slam. We also have, we also oh, have yeah. Compass Blades. Yeah, all right, cool. We probably don't need the Steel Coverage. Uh, the, the Steel Coverage is really nice because it, it does... It turns let, into Max Steel Spike yeah. when you back. It lets, it lets Groudon be um, another... It, it lets it be another Dynamax target alongside Venusaur. And that's what really makes that pairing so offensively dominant is the fact that you just get to play the game of, okay, what am I doing? Who's the bigger threat to you? And more importantly... What am I actually going to do? Yeah, like uh, sure. That, like there, there was a game. Uh, I played. I played Groudon last week, like we talked about, where, um, I led, just Sun against Zacian. It's like, well, you're dead. <laughs> like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> but they they targeted down Venusaur instead, and you know ultimately Venusaur can't take a Behemoth Blade, or at least the set we were playing couldn't. Um, Most Venusaur's can. Yeah, you, you need to invest pretty pretty heavily into... I think into it's HP and almost all your defense into it just to even try and survive at plus one. It's like, well, all right, cool, we're dead. Yeah. So, uh, granted, the the Venusaur set I was running didn't have Protect. We had Sleep Piper, so, like, I could have maxed in front of it and gone for the max guard to clean it up. Uh, but instead, I just let Venusaur go down. Yeah. Like, I was like, well... Worst case scenario, we can go for a sleep powder here, but they're they're paired next to Sableye, so, so Sableye just quashed me. It's like, hmm, that's annoying, but uh, that's that's a common pairing with Zacian is some kind of like quash, or follow me, or redirection, just so anything that comes at the Zacian gets redirected or gets put down, so Zacian can clean it up. Doesn't work the greatest for Groudon, who can just eat the Behemoth like, Blade and okay, like, blow cool. you up afterwards. <laughs> so yes, um. Groudon's really good. Yeah. I, I think it is easily one of the A tier Pokemon or the S tier Pokemon in this in this. Yeah. There's uh, there's there's a there's a the small handful of S like actual like hard S's. Um Groudon is definitely one of them. Uh Zacian's probably gonna be up there. And I think Kyogre might get up there. It just depends on how Kyogre fares against the Groudon mm -hmm. teams. Like you said, Groudon with Venu with like Venusaur is a problem for Kyogre. Yeah, let's, let's talk about Kyogre, man. Like, so, perfect segue. I, I honestly think Kyogre is probably also S-tier. Like, it, if it's S-tier, it's below ground. In, like, every time. For, for sure. Um, but the thing about Kyogre is 
the the way you're abusing rain in this format means you're doubling up on grass type weaknesses, which then just makes Unless Venusaur that much better against you. Yeah. Or Eleki. Or um Rillaboom. Yeah, like perfect another really perfect one. Like Rillaboom lines up really well against you. Or just like Rillaboom cool. lines up really well against both of these guys. Like sure well Groudon can take a hit. Yeah. And then just be like, all right, you've chose death. <laughs> <laughs> but you chunk, you put a chunk on that ground. Yeah, exactly. That you is, you that, do that's get the very key. good, very good chip damage on it. Um, whereas Which ground and uh, real boom also can't Oko Kyogre with a grassy glide. No, but it's still going to do a good chunk. It's going to, it's going to put it into where something you can double into it and pick it up. And that's, that's what's important. The, the fact that like, uh, Kyogre wants to go fast and water spout you. And really, boom says, "All right, well, I'm going to do a good chunk before you do that. We're going to reduce that damage as much as possible, and like, you can be a salt vest really boom and be able to take ice beams or max hailstorms from it. So then you're just being able to put out even more damage against it. Yeah, there's really boom's a really good check. Eliki's another perfect example where, well, if you're not exactly max speed, Eliki outspeeds you and just runs you over. Yep." Yeah. Um, which I've found that out the hard way very, very quickly. But, that being said, because Groudon, I think, is one of the better Pokemon in the current format, Kyogre's a very, very good answer to it. Yeah. Um, the fact that you're able to manipulate the weather in your, in your favor, while also being able to, uh, like, you not only disrupt theirs, but you're also faster than them 99% of the time. I can't imagine you playing Slow Kyogre in this format. No. The only way you play Slow Kyogre is like if you're Iron Ball to make sure you get rain. Which, then they just switch Groudon out. Yeah. Then Groudon disappears and your big target that you were after just is gone. Yep. Um, so, I've, I've been experimenting with Cradilly as a Kyogre counter. And I'm like, I'm just like... That's sick. It, it's like, okay, you want to water spout me? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Give me. Oh, look, I max overgrowth you. Your maybe maybe instead of uh, Ho-Oh, you should just play Kyogre Cradily in this circle. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's the solution we're maybe. looking for. I don't know. <laughs> maybe that's the Cradily <laughs> team could, in this format. Yeah, it's like, could slap Cradily on almost anything that's scared of Kyogre and just be fine. And, um, you know, the, the thing about Kyogre past that is like, well, you're setting rain, you're weak to electric, there's a lot of incidental thunder running around now. Yeah, but at least you set th- rain for them. Yeah, yeah. That, that's something that I'm doing, is things that were previously running like Thunderbolt, I'm upgrading to Thunder, because sure, some of the time it's not going to work out, but it's also not my only damaging attack, usually. Yeah. And if it is, well... Better I lucky, roll. better I lucky than it. good. Just high roll it, you'll be fine. Um, like especially with Eliki, I'm not playing Thunderbolt now. Why no, would I? No, I, no. I <laughs> answer the big whale. Yeah, I'm going to deal with it. <laughs> like Electroweb, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, uh, Thunderbolt, and Protect was like the common set. So yep. now you just switch Thunderbolt for Thunder. And guess what? If you're in a situation, you can just Volt Switch. Yeah, or you can just slow them down. Like, yeah, you you have other things to click if you. If, Thunder isn't what you want to be doing. Along, like, we, I feel like we've dogged a lot on Kyogre and not really talked about why it's actually S tier, though. <laughs> uh, it's because you just water spout people to death. You have rain boosted water spout from a 150 base special attack. So, I don't know if you know this, but you can do more than just water spout. Uh, Origin Pulse <laughs> is very powerful. Ice Beam, Thunder. You don't get Hurricane, um, which. I'm glad. I'm really glad. I'm so glad. Let's just talk about that for a second. You don't get Hurricane. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> but, like, this also can Dynamax and carry a Life Orb and just smack you to death that way, too. Uh, you could wing this pulse at this sucker if you wanted to. Yeah. Like, do you need to? Probably not. But there is an option there. You can do that. It's a water type. It does have a bunch of, like... Incidental energy. weaknesses. Yeah. So... Yeah, you could you could bulk up, play less special attack investment, play more, you know, be max speed, like max HP then, trigger your policy with an opposing Eliki and be like, 
Alright, thanks, nerd. Turns that base 150 to 300, and you just blow them Run up people there. over, yeah. Um, I played against Adam this week in Draft League, and he had Kyogre. And just all week, I'm just like, I have no idea how to beat this thing. It is such Sounds a like massive is thing. like Just like, <laughs> this thing does so much damage. Yeah. And then, you know, so I had... I had Pasho Berry Ensign this week. There was a mat, uh, There was a turn where behind screens against Dynamax Kyogre, my Pasho Berry put me down to 30. Yeah. <laughs> behind screens and reducing it by half. I still almost died. <laughs> yep, that's that powerful. Um... So yeah, Kyogre, Groudon, very, very powerful duo here. Expect to see a ton of them. Weather Wars are back. I expect to see Tyranitar start to tick up as well. For sure. Especially on the Zacian teams. For sure. Just as a counter to opposing weather. Uh, Mainly because Zacian is a steel type as well, so you don't have to worry about chip. But uh, Tyranitar is also slower than both of these guys. Min speed Tyranitar is like 60, is like It's real slow. Something like that. I uh, might might have to go hunt me a... uh... A brave min speed one. Uh, I know I had one for. Uh, it was an old draft league. I don't know if I still have it. Hmm. Last of the weather trio trio here is Rayquaza. With these two being so popular, I like Airlock. I do, I, I just don't. I don't think so. I, I think it's better than Mewtwo. I honestly don't think so. I do. Because Airlock, Airlock is good because it turns off weather. Um, also, I watched uh, a ton of just like once you deal with Kyogre, like if you get Kyogre and Ground set up to where they're not dealing as much damage, Intimidate, Snarl, both of those are both of them are really weak to just like Intimidate, Cycling, Snarl, Incineroar can be a problem, Landorus can be a problem, things like that, uh, Raikou. Uh, Caloric Shadow gets Snarl, things like that, can definitely be an issue. So I feel like if you just like set up Snarls and things like that, Rayquaza can get up in there and turn off the weather boosts and then just take over the game. Why does that base 150 in both of its attack? I don't know, but that's why. Like, granted, your bulk's not great. You know, 105 and then 90s in both defenses. You're 95 speed, so you're not awful you're you're faster than the weather duo and actually you're you're honestly faster than quite a few there's there, a, a lot, lot of them are in that 95 90 range so but my big problem with rayquaza she just has so many weaknesses you're, you're, you're weak frail to, to so many weak things very rock uh dragon ice double ice it ice which, is ice you're still you just weak to ice which I feel like Rayquaza is going to suffer a lot. Like, it, it may not... Suffer is probably not the right word. Like, I think Lando is still going to be good. I think ice coverage is still going to be prominent because you have things like Groudon and Landorus and all these additional flying types in the format now. It also doesn't help that they gave us Glastrier as a Pokemon like a week, like a month before this format or two months before this or whatever. And yep. now we have Calyrex Ice, which Glacial Lanch is such a cool animation. And Dude, I had never out. seen it until Evan's match. And I'm just and like, it is right, such this a is, cool animation. This is, uh, maybe it wasn't Evan. It was wasn't it Evan? Evan. It wasn't Evan. It was uh, Beppus. Yeah, because we were, we were raiding, and we basically had like a four-man commentary team going on. And it was actually kind of great. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it was a blast just watching uh, that match on Twitch. Um, well, she sent me that one, too, so I might... I might cut that one down to where it's just the video and send that off for commentary. Yeah, send that one to, to Jiggly and, and uh, Evan. Or Evan. Evan uh, they, and would, they would have a blast with that one. Some Somebody will do commentary over it and it'll be great. Yeah, um, that, that match was very good. But I think Rayquaza is better than Mewtwo. Like we said, Mewtwo's like defining feature is just like expanding force. And that's really about all it does. <laughs> Mewtwo's defining feature is... I'm a psychic type. Yeah. Which, if you <laughs> I have at, the best stab psychic move. <laughs> if you look at all of these, there's a bunch of psychic types on here. Like, But how many have stab expanding force? <laughs> there's two. 
I actually forgot about that. <laughs> All right, Mewtwo might be too high. Yeah, uh, I figured we'd end up moving Mewtwo down eventually because I think Rayquaza is a solid C tier pick. If you are playing a team that doesn't really have a slot for Restricted Mon and you need something to like fight Kyogre and Groudon and Weather in general, Rayquaza definitely fits your bill. Slap an Assault Vest on that. Your 90 base special defense then becomes 145. You survive a lot of more ice type attacks that way. And, you know, when so this is something that I do and you do as well that kind of bothers me is when you double the you know when you either double or multiply the stat, it's not a direct change because uh, this is actually something I learned from Moxie Boosted forever ago. Um, a base ninety with an assault vest is not the same thing as a base one forty five. No. But, but for, for simplicity's sake, it's that's what we say. Yeah. It, it just kind of triggers me every time. <laughs> because I, don't I, I, mean, how, I do it too. I don't see how, though, because if, for damage calculation purposes, it will be the same. It will be the same as a plus one to your special defense. Yes. And that's what it ends up being. But it's not a base 145. No. Because but, your, your stats, I believe, it's also not actually, technically base 90. It's 90 plus the 31 IVs. That's not Technically. The value. That's not even, it's not even the same value. I'm saying 90 <laughs> turns into a 145. Yeah, yeah. It is a much higher stat than what you're dealing with already. Correct. Which, that is accurate, yes. I want to look at this thing's move pool. Uh, I, does it get Dragon Ascent still? Yes. Does it? Really? Yeah. According to this, it does. According to Showdown, it does. Neat. Does that mean Megas are in the game? No. Good by Carl. Carl, the Mega, the Mega attack. It's in the no. game. That means they're going to patch in Mega rings and abilities. So that means we want to look at physical moves, right? The problem with being physical then is like you're you're submissible to intimidate. intimidate. What's our move pull for physical? We have Crunch, Earthquake. Yeah, EQ, great. Shadow Claw, Waterfall. Why? I think you get Surf, too. Like, we have Dragon Ascent for Airstream. It's not Airstream. It's Wormwind. Oh, I thought it was Dragon Move. It literally has the word Dragon in its name. Ah. <laughs> but... It says Flying on there. But it's not a Dragon... <laughs> what? Don't this worry game's stupid. Uh, we <laughs> do get, we get Bulldoze. No we get Bulldoze. Okay. That one's not bad. Um, fling. Dive. We can fling a weakness policy. So if you don't want to be physical and you want to go special, the move pool definitely gets deeper for being a dragon. Uh, you have literally all the coverage in the world because you're a god. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> you get fire, water, grass, electric, ice beam, uh, Draco meteor, earth power, ancient power, air slash, hurricane... Icy wind, solar beam, you name it, meteor beam. It, it, I was, name I was it, getting ready to say I need to go look to see if I have a, a good marked Rayquaza, and then I remember I have two shinies. You got the shinies, yeah. <laughs> um, like, oh wait, I have I have the best shiny in the game. So yeah, so that, that 90 special defense with assault vest because goes to 110 with your IVs, and then double like do the 1.5, it's like you end up being... 160, 110 puts you to one, 165 with assault yeah, vest with zero investment so that's that's it's not bad that's not bad at all by any means yeah it's <laughs> I'm not saying it's good but I'm definitely, definitely going to play it it's better than Mewtwo that's the point I was trying to make it's better than Mewtwo I want Mewtwo to be better than it is I, I that's was, my thing <laughs> the only ar argument I was trying to win is it's better than Mewtwo yeah that's fair that's the only thing I wanted to win because I knew it was like it's either a very low B or like a better than Mewtwo C like yeah. that's that's where it's I, at. I don't think it's on it's the same team it's nowhere as... here up here it's not even going to yeah, I don't. I don't think it's nearly here. as good as ho -Oh, but I think it's better than Mewtwo so, statistically, that means it's way better than Lugia. Oh, yeah. 100%. All right. Gen 4. So, where'd you go, Dialga? Uh, he's, yeah, somewhere around here. Is it Dialga, Dialga Palkia, Giratina? Giratina. Is that the order? Yes. Okay. Because I think it's by game. It's Diamond and Pearl. And then it's going to be Black and White, which is 
the white legendary and then the black legendary. And then this one. And, and then, then those. Where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> and that one. And then X. And then Y. Wait, that's not Y. He moved. <laughs> <laughs> and then Z. Hey, Kyle, X, get down here. Go down here. Oh yeah, we have two Giratinas. I forgot we have two. Doesn't this isn't the difference? This one gets levitate and it's like a better it bulkier gets, set. Let me actually look up. I know I it does something. I know one's bulkier than the other. Uh, I believe that's regular. All right, so origin form has to hold the, the orb. Form. So that's already just like it puts a ding in it because you have to have an item. Lot, but your your stab gets an additional twenty uh, percent boost. So it's a one point two times boost. Yeah, okay. on top of your stab one point five, so it becomes like one point eight or something. I don't want to do math. Uh, if you're mul- to multiply, if that's what you're doing, then it's, yeah, you multiply. So it'd be like actually one point eight. Man, yeah, I'm great. Say it should be one point eight. It's like <laughs> a picture sure that's right. Um, stat wise. I'm already pulling up Giratina, so we're talking about it. Yeah, which, which one are we talking about? This one? This is Origin, yes. Yeah. Um, 120 attack, 100 defenses, 90 speed, 150 HP. So he's a bulky boy. Uh, and then the other one, it's the defensive version with 120s in defenses, 100 in, HP, uh, 100 in attacks. But it keeps the 150 HP? And 90 speed, yeah. So It literally swaps its... Offense and so this is already actually better, probably. <laughs> Being, I, I played against weakness policy Giratina. Was it the origin or was it the regular? It was regular because you can't yeah, be yeah, weakness can't policy. Be yeah. Player. So, um, I like regular more just because you're already bulkier. This means it's a good Dynamax target. Do we get like any ground or steel coverage with it? Um, good question. Being, being a dragon almost means you get some. You get earth power. And bulldoze and earthquake, but mainly earth uh, earth power. Earth power is actually decent, yeah. Um, steel, flash cannon, iron head. So you can go physical with earthquake and iron head, or you can just worry about being specially defensive and get earth power. Um, physical dragon move, we get probably the basic outrage scale shot. Outrage and dragon claw. Yeah. And breaking swipe, actually. Oh, okay. That one already put that puts it better than Rayquaza. I don't think Rayquaza got breaking swipe. I don't believe it does. And then Ghost, I believe we get Phantom Force. That'd be sweet. Just be. We get Poltergeist. Oh, deal. We get deal. Poltergeist, Phantom Force, and oh wait, no, we have better Phantom Force. We have Shadow Force. Oh yeah. <laughs> Literally the same move, but ninety uh, is uh, ninety versus one twenty base power. Yeah. <laughs> so. So. Base gear, Tina, meh. It might actually be better than that. I was like, man, I don't know. We, like, you gotta think about it. It's like, it's base 90 speed, so you're fairly slow. Like you were saying earlier, ice is a problem, which this set is, this one's defensively bulkier than this one. Hidden ability is telepathy. Does that do anything for you? Not really. It's like, it means you're immune to your partner earthquake. Yeah. Look, the other one has levitate, so that means I get to be immune too. <laughs> like that one's like that's why that's why I'm trying to figure out which one's better than the other right now. Oh, easily, easily the the regular it's, form, it's the regular one, right? So then yeah. this one's origins probably. Is it better? It's probably D tier to be a hundred percent. Really, dude. It, it, like the big thing about it is you lose your item, and that in and of itself is that is huge. a big chunk. But you're also like you said, it's a one point, essentially a one point eight times boost to your stab. Which, but I want an iron tail. Eh. I mean, or or iron head, and like the the a one thirty max worm wind at a one point eight times boost. I'm doing the math. Uh, that's a lot. Calculator, please work. Like just like a non resisted hit. Two thirty four. Jeez. <laughs> That's just like not <laughs> not super effective, not resisted. Just Still not as strong as Draco Vicious Vicious Red. No, I don't think anything's <laughs> going to get past that. Um, I think the only thing that comes close is like PZ's uh, PZ like Life Orb PZ 
Hyper yeah. beam. Bolt beak, hustle of life, or bolt beak might get there. Yeah, because you, you actually get an item. Yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe. Choi- choice band fishes friend is going to be the the top tier damage. See, someone's going to comment down below what the actual best damaging move is. With a like, someone best... do the math for me down below. Do the math. Do the math for Fishes Rend, Bolt Beak, and Adaptability Hyper Beam. Well, uh, <laughs> the thing about Bolt Beak is you have Hustle, but you lose Strong Jaw, and I believe Strong Jaw is technically better. I believe it's a one point five converted to a one point three. I have no clue. Someone's gonna yell at me in the comments, and you it's have gonna show down right No, 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 no. <laughs> the comments are gonna do it for me. Okay. Well. <laughs> so. Back to this Giratina. So we have to run physical to get Iron Head and Earthquake. And we get Breaking Swipe. Slap an Assault Vest on it. And we you, can just like... Yeah, I mean, you could be Assault Vest and that makes you a base 180 defense. Essentially. <laughs> uh, this thing's probably a solid A. It's probably a solid A. And I don't think enough people are going to play it. And now I'm excited to play it next week. The problem is because it's like... Dragon Ghost, there's a lot of coverage for both of those typings right now, just because Calyrex and all the other dragons were already running around in the ground types, like we said earlier. Uh, you thought Rayquaza had a lot of weaknesses. Giratina probably got just as many. It probably actually has more. Ice, Dragon, uh, Fairy, Ghost, Dark. Yeah, that's it. That's one more. That, that's that one more than Rayquaza. Rayquaza was. Rayqu- well, Rayquaza has a double weakness. So I don't know if you want to count that as two. No, because it's still just one typing. It's yeah, not, but it's you not still, even. you die more. <laughs> sometimes. What? No, not sometimes, every time. You, you can count to survive ice typers. Even if sure. it's four times weakness, you can count to survive. You, you got it, man. You're not wrong, but you're wrong. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's not like, I, super ice is a thing. It's not like that's a thing. It's it's Yet. It's ice. That's It's just one typing. Plus... Ice, ice typing as it own, on its own as a stab is what's going to get you most of the time. Yeah. Whereas, like, that's, like, glass year. Yeah, and incidental ice. ice coverage is, is like, whatever. But Like, they have to be weakness policy boosted to usually pick up that KO. Which, outside of Metagross, I don't think there's a lot in glass... Like, outside of that, I just, like, I don't think there's going to be a lot that's running ice type that isn't already an ice type. I need to work on Giratina now. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Um, I have I have my shiny one too. And, yeah, I know you. Oh, do. it's shiny is so good. Man. Oh, the shiny is fantastic, beautiful. Um, we need to get through this list because it's already we're we're going on forty minutes here. We're Look, I, close. you're like, oh, this is only gonna take half an hour. I'm like, bruh, no, I know us. <laughs> no, I said no. I said fucking last week it's gonna take two hours to get through this next episode because we have series eight. Um, Dialga. Steel Dude, dragon. it's really good. Like, is it this good? No. I want to put it here. Is I, it this I, good? It's I think than, it's better than Giratina. It's better than Giratina because it's Steel Dragon. You, like, you lose your fairy weakness, you lose a dragon weakness. It's it's better to rally on. It's really good. You don't have Stalwart anymore, but who cares? <laughs> so, here's, here's the thing. Um, I don't know if you know this. But this carries an assault vest way better than Duraludon. Oh yeah, no. and that was the thing people did. Yeah, this Dialga is really good. I'm excited to play with my event when I have. It's not shiny, but I'm excited to play with it. Um, so Ro and I have been working together on draft league stuff since before day one, right? And he was really high on Dialga the entire time, and I'm just like, I don't know, man. This is like pretty mediocre. It's never really done anything for me. And he's like, all right. But hear me out. What if it was actually good? And so I start looking. I'm like, all right, this thing is actually way better than people are going to give it credit for. And it's going to be super underrepresented the entire time it's legal. Yeah. Um, the one downside is, is you have a big weakness to ground. And Groudon is going to be super popular. So yeah, but like... You have to make sure you can survive, like, max quake from Groudon. Like, reliably. You have a base 120 defense. The max quick off prefaces, I believe, is 130. So, or, like, honestly, our bulk is really good. 
100 HP, 120 defense, 100 special defense. Like, that's really good. Do we deal damage at all? 150 special attack. That'll work. (laughs) 90 speed. Also, 120 attack. I like the special attack more. Roar times steel? Dragon. Damn. Damn. I wanted a really powerful steel spike move. Yep, we're, we're dragon. Uh, steel moves. I know we get steel beam. We lose literally half our bulk, but it's a base 140 steel move. I still don't like losing half my bulk. But Carl, (laughs) bang. (laughs) Baby. (laughs) Look, we're dynamaxing this. Obviously, we're going bang. I think at that point, I think flash cannon becomes 130 max steel spike. So at that point, you're just losing out on 10 points. We also get Iron Defense. Iron Defense, Trick Room, Body Press. <laughs> Do we get Breaking Swipe? Do we? Do we? I don't know. Do we? I'm asking you. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs> body Press, Iron Defense, Trick Room, Breaking Swipe. Get him. Get him. Support Dialga. Don't need a Dynamax. It. Just be a bulky, annoying Pokemon. Yeah, just do Reggie Steel things, except set your own Trick Room. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's what's even better than you know raising your defense lowering their attack yeah <laughs> and not just one of them both of their attacks that's what's great yeah Dialga is super underrepresented and it will be the entirety time it's legal Palkia mm. it also has a base 120 uh, a base 150 special attack it hits like a truck it also has access to trick room too I believe um uh, it's actually faster than Dialga. By how much? It's 100 compared to 90. So where'd the 90 go? HP. Uh. Yeah, 90 HP, uh, 100, 100 defense, 120 special defense. I think the fact that we're still weak to Dragon of Barry is a big problem, too. Like, you really... You get rid of Ice as a weakness. Yeah, but we, we don't get rid of 2. Yeah. That's the thing. The Steel Typing gets rid of 2... The water we just get rid of one. To be fair, um, the steel typing also adds two. Yeah. One of those is fighting, and fighting's not a very good type. No. The other one is ground, and it's ground on. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah! Look! Um, Palkia removes grass and electric from its thing because it's a dragon type. Yep, and you remove ice. So... But you're still Ultimately, weak I, to fairy. I think you have less weaknesses, if I'm doing my math right. I think you're still less, but they're... But, like, your weaknesses more, are more predominant. Yeah, because there's, like we said, Giratina, Dialga, they're going to probably run a Dragon-type move, and you're still weak to Dragon. And, and, and Dialga's not. not going anywhere. Yeah. Like, you're still going to have good fairies. So, yeah, I feel and like... honestly... Togekiss is probably making a comeback, too. Oh, 100%. Redirection's going to be everywhere again. (laughs) So, having no fairy weakness makes Dialga way better, in my opinion. I like Um, that we've managed to do two by two by two by two so far. It really wasn't meant to be that way, but here we are. (laughs) I'm I'm interested in seeing what our special move pool looks like on Palkia before I I rule it out. We get Aura Sphere. So we can boost our attack. Yeah, with our our special attack. It makes sense. No. <laughs> Carl, we're boosting our attack. No. Uh, spatial Rend. Is that Dragon 2? Base 195 accuracy, high crit ratio. Dragon? Yep. I feel like Dragon Meter is better at that point. Like, I... Th- it, mm, maybe? It's close. Dragon Meter's base 120. But you lose your special attack. Yeah, it depends on like. Well, you're also 100 accuracy. Oh wait, no, no, you're, you're 90. Not. You're 90. No, you're not. Hmm. I think I like Rend more. Is Rend up 90 or 95? Yeah, at that point, it's just it's just splitting hairs. It's more power versus five percent less accuracy. You also get Hydro Pump. You get Surf, so you can do Cradily things. Um. You get Earth Power. Earth Power is good coverage. You get Flamethrower. You're a dragon. Don't it, it. But it's a dragon. Get water it. dragon. It's a still a dragon. Technically, Look. it's a space dragon. <laughs> and they don't have fire in space. There's no oxygen. So? What do you mean so? It's Pokemon. <laughs> when does science ever matter? 
<laughs> also, we're the being of space, so we can create oxygen for fire? I, I don't know. The logistics behind how Pokemon works confuses me. And that's for a whole other podcast. Yeah, well... And, you know, now that I've said that, people are going to request You're going to ask for it. Yeah, yeah, good job. Um, You're welcome. So, B. Better than Ho-Oh? I don't think so. Okay. I, I I think it's okay. I think it's better than Rayquaza. Uh, yeah, it's 100% better than Rayquaza. Like we said, it's less weaknesses, and it actually deals damage. <laughs> and has I mean, Rayquaza deals damage. This thing can take a hit, though. Yeah. That's the big thing. Uh, moving on to Gen 5 here, we've got the black and white duo of Zekrom and Reshiram, and then yeah, let's, Kyurem, let's and it's knock out Kyurem forms. real quick. Uh, Kyurem's not good. Cool. Uh, so, next up we have... <laughs> oh, we're just doing all these real quick. Um, I actually think you have black too low. You think so? I think black is better than white. I th- is black the physical one? Is that... Because that's why it's low. Because Intimidate just ruins it. And Electric Dragon is actually, like, not... No, you're Ice Dragon. Oh, Ice Dragon. They're all Ice Dragon. But I, I, Electric Coverage doesn't do as much for you as Fire Coverage does. Uh, oh, 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 oh. That's a base 170 attack. Yeah. But you're also just like, oh, hi, Intimidate. Dude, that still doesn't matter. You're at base 170. As attack. someone who has played with, tested with Regigigas, if you get intimidated on Regigigas, it still sucks. <laughs> See, minus one puts you to. Uh, 0. 0.67. Oh, nope, went the wrong way. <laughs> we went up, not down. And still a 113 attack stat, basically. Which is technically lower than your special attack. But it's a base 170 attack! But that, it? That's why it's lower than the the one that gets fire coverage. Yeah, but it gets one fire attack. But it only gets, also gets one electric attack. And you're going to want to run it because you want to abuse your ability. Yeah, but like, it's actually not good. Like, it's, it's coverage is actually not good. Uh, like... You don't. You're never going to trigger the. Uh, so, do you know how fusion bolt and fusion flare work? They look for the other one, don't they? Yes, that's never going to come up in the history of this game. Exactly. That's why they're down here. Like I think they're cute. That's why they're down here. But I, I think black is better than you're giving it credit for. I think it's C. I think it's worse than Mewtwo though, but I think it's way better than Giratina. Rayquaza's ability does something. <laughs> you have Mold Breaker. Is that the, like the HA? No, that's oh, that's what it does. Is that what it does? Yeah, they both get Mold Breaker by a different name. No. Well, guess what? Are they going up? No. Okay. They're not moving <laughs> anywhere. When the, when the weather duo is popular, Airlock is more than Mold Breaker. Okay, but hear me out. What if they gave it Ice Punch? Still no. Yeah, I mean, they're not going to because his hands are literally made of ice. Mm-hmm. But they're never going to give it Ice Punch. Oh, I, I know. It's the stupidest thing, and I hate it. It's the same reason Ghastly gets Thunder Punch and all those. Yep. It makes perfect sense if you don't think about it. So, skipping these two, talking about the actual Zekrom and Reshiram now. <laughs> they're both pretty bad, right? Uh, Reshiram, Reshiram's anything? actually, like, decent... At Fire Dragon, because you resist fairy, uh, you can deal with the problematic steel types that are in front of you that you don't hit with the dragon stab. Uh, whereas Electric Dragon's... Yeah. Like, you're weak to ground. <laughs> Granted, these both also give Mold Breaker. Um, so Rusher Room is base 100 HP, 120 attack, 100 defense, 150 attack, 120 special defense, 90 speed. But, like, I, I, just, I don't think it accomplishes anything. Uh, people can play with Fresh Ram. Like I said, it resists. It's a, it's a neutral fairy hit now. And yeah. you, get, you have stab to hit steel types that normally wall you. 
because you're a dragon. Um, again, weak to ground, not weak to water, not weak to ice anymore. Being oh, fire hold on. What is... Zekrom gets Bolt Strike. I've never heard of this move. That's the signature. I've never heard of this move. <laughs> it's a base 130 uh, physical electric attack. Yeah. Zekrom suffers from the same problem Kieran Black does. Intimidate is a problem. Yeah. The question is, is Zekrom better than Mewtwo? Honestly, I don't think so. Okay. I don't... You get Electro Ball. You actually get Rising Voltage, which is really sick, but... Yeah, but isn't the... Again, isn't the black one the physical one? 150 versus 120... Which is that's, actually a huge that's difference. That's significant. I was about to say, it's like, if it's like 120 versus 130 or something. But look, this, sure. has, this has the same problem Coco does. Where, like, its physical move will, honestly, if I'm looking at this right, isn't great. Uh, physical electric types are very few and far between. Because electricity has just been inherently special the entire time. Give it Bolt Beak. Right? Nothing bad will happen. It gets Breaking Swipe. That's cool. Does Re- Reshiram probably gets it too, doesn't he? Probably. Uh, Reshiram's signature move is the crazy fire thing. That's all I remember it as. <laughs> crazy fire thing. I don't remember what it does, but I know it's, cra- it's, it's crazy fire thing. Blue flare. I yeah. lost to this in Draft League. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the name. It's like it's blue flare. It's a like crazy fire move that doesn't really have a, has a really cool name, but I can't remember what it does. Uh, 130 special fire attack, 85 accuracy, 20% chance to burn. Special will o wisp <laughs> Like, hope you get the burn. <laughs> it's, it's like special sacred fire, but does more. Does more damage. But you're also but less, less accurate, accurate and, and also, also less, less likely to burn. To burn. <laughs> so. Worse sacred flare. <laughs> yeah. Does it get will o wisp it's a fire type? Yes. Okay, there, there's hope for that then. Um, what else do we get? What's, what's our special move pool look like? Uh, we gotta slap Draco Meter on this thing. And... Hold on, we're not that far yet. And... Flash get, Cannon? Yeah, we get Draco, we get Earth Power. Earth Power's good. I like Earth Power. Heat Wave, Psychic, Scorching Sands... Ooh, that's actually really good. And it's not better than Earth Power, though. Uh, just having not having to run will o being able to like, slap the Salt Vest on this boy and still, yeah. have, op- still have multiple ways to burn. Uh, Mystical Fire. I like that, too. That's interesting. Shadow Ball, Weather Ball. Meh. Ancient Power, so you have rock coverage. Meteor Beam? Nope. Damn. Solar Beam. Oh, yeah, it's a fire type. That's a hell of a way to counter Groudon. Yeah, that's what I was about to like, say. It's all right, fire thanks, type. idiot. Bang. Bang. <laughs> Let's see your salt vest get through this. Actually, like, that doesn't sound bad in the face of, like, the weather duo. Just slap Solar Beam on it. If you go against Kyogre, you max. And overgrowth it. <laughs> and if you, you go against Groudon, you just bang him. Yeah. See, that's why Reshrim's up here. In, yeah, low, okay. in low B. In low B. Yeah, I, it's, yeah, I think it's worse than Giratina. So yeah, this is yeah. 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 A bunch of it this gear too, and I'm like, no, it's worse than this one probably. This these these two are like great. We don't have We only have a little bit left here. Uh We're in the last half. Yay! <laughs> X and Y. This is probably one of my favorite sets of legendaries just because Dude, just, like, honestly, yes. The design wise they were so cool. I think like obviously it goes Gen 3 because they're so good. Yeah, Gen 3. And then probably are Gen 6. Just legendaries, just for really good designs here. Um, uh, dude, four is also really good. I I'll, I really like Gen four. I like Gen two. Gen one is literally Mewtwo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, if we're including all the legendaries, so you have the birds as well. Yeah. The birds don't have the base stats. These guys. I'm, do. I'm actually interested in hearing what people say is the best generation for legendaries, not mythicals, legendaries. Yeah. Um. Let's start with Xerneas here. I have it as, like, a solid A. I think it is a very solid A. I think it's better than Dialga. You think so? I do. Um, all the, like, steel is a very popular type right now because it gets this max steel spike defense boost. I feel like it actually, like, makes Xerneas worse. I think the thing about Xerneas that needs to be respected 
Is it still Xerneas? Like, you still got to do Geomancy, Moonblast, Dazzling Flame things. The thing, though, that is not great, and why, why I think it's lower than S tier, that it probably would have been previously, is Dynamax is such a huge deal. Oh, yeah. The, the fact that you take a turn to do anything with Xerneas means that, like, I get to snowball you before you ever get off the ground. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially if it's just, like, Kyogre plus Tailwind. Like, if, it, if it's Torn Ogre, you're just like, all right, well, Tailwind, blow up your support. Like. Cool. You have a Xerneas. Bang. Bang. Like, like, you don't even have to do that. You could just Tailwind, Water Spout, and you get to hit both. Yeah, but then, like, if they're if they're pairing it next to Amoongus, then you don't get to pick up the KO on the Amoongus. Uh, and then you have to worry about, like, getting Spored later. Yeah, yeah. it's a whole ordeal. How fast is Xerneas? 99, right? I actually don't know the answer to that. Yeah, I believe Xerneas and Yvalto have the same exact stats, they're just different typings. To the internet? I believe it is 99 base speed. Because it is one point slower than Regigigas. Because I have both. They are 99. Well, Yvalto is. Xerneas is also 99. I believe their stats are the exact same. So we are... 126, 131, 95, 131, 98, 99, versus 126, 131, 95, 131, 98, 99. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, their stats are exactly the same. So, Yuvalto and Xerneas are going to speed tight every time uh, until Yuvalto gets to do his tailwind thing or Geomancy gets to pop off. So, Geomancy is plus one or is it plus two? Plus two. It's plus two. Okay. Plus well, two is special attack, special defense, and speed. That's really good. It's really good. Yeah. And that's that's a big thing. Is like, if they get to do their thing, it's extremely powerful. And Imagine if Xerneas was like fairy ground. Gross. To match the second type of your volatile. Yeah. It, but instead they gave ground to Zygarde. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, so... I think, ultimately, Xerneas is going to be a player in this format, and people are going to have to learn to respect it again. This is why Redirection is going to be in the format. Yep. Uh, along, alongside, like, you know, you, your other threats... Like, the longer your legendaries on the field, the more you tempo do, you gain yeah, off Yeah, the of better it. it's going to be for you in the long run. Which is why Redirection is going to be big, on top of getting to set up things like Xerneas and then Sweep. So, or getting to set up Zygarde. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, uh, having having access to, like, safety goggles so Amoongus gets, gets turned off is a pretty big deal. Uh, the fact that, like, you don't really want to pair this next to, like, Togekiss because it just also dies to Steel Spike. That's the big problem is, like, so, like a your, lot of your support options are fairies. Yeah, your, your support options are, like, Ndidi, which, I mean, honestly, is good because that yeah, means you can't get faked out. Yeah, Ndidi's actually really good. The the fact that you can't get, like, fake out plus doubled into nope, is no great. Claps. Um, but then the other thing is, like, Amoongus. Th- those yeah. are really your only redirection options that come to mind. Which, Amoongus doesn't, like, they like it tanks steel-type attacks for you really, really well, which is good. It does. Uh, but then again, like you said, st- safety goggles can definitely be a problem. Uh, so, just kind of depends on what your opponent's got. And if, it, if this becomes too big of a deal, you just have, like, G-Max, like, the G-Max starters just ignore redirection. You have Dureladon in the format, which can re- just ignore it. Yeah. So, honestly, Dureladon, if Xerneas becomes popular, is going to be very good. Yeah, Dureladon's like, going to be a great answer. Be like, alright, cool, you're dead. Unfortunately, it's a special attacker. <laughs> so, the special defense boost means Xerneas lives a bunch of those hits, probably, still. Unless you have Tailwind Zern- unless you have Tailwind Dureladon. <laughs> nah, nah. Uh, we could freaking yeah it's like Tailwind or you just like Electro Web it yep just some kind of speed control will definitely do it for you uh, does Xerneas get Icy Wind? can't remember no it's coverage is actually awful I know it gets Grass type coverage because it has Horn Leech um, why? I mean it makes sense because it, has it a literally bunch of horns. has horns but why? Um, I think it gets Focus Miss uh, all right, coverage moves. We have D Gleam, Flash Cannon, Focus Blast, Grass Knot, Hyper Voice, Moon Blast, Psychic, Psy Shock, Thunder, Thunderbolt, Aurora Beam. 
misty explosion. <laughs> Terrain Pulse. Terrain Pulse is actually interesting. Yeah, not very many Pokemon actually like can abuse Terrain Pulse very well. I mean, there's a reason it's not very good. We only haven't had a format where it's actually going to be good. good. If you're pairing this next to Ndidi... Like, it gives you, like, psychic coverage. I mean, you already have psychic and Psyshock, though. I, terrain Pulse is doubled, though, so it's going to yeah, be stronger. Yeah, so it's base, one, it's base 100 versus base 50. Or uh, base 80. It's going to be stronger. So. Psychic is 90? Psychic is 90. Yeah, so, I mean, it's it's not bad. And, like, if they have, like, opposing Rillabooms, you can also just... Like, it gives you grass coverage, grass coverage, psychic yeah. coverage, extra fairy coverage. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. It's a 100 base fairy move instead of Moonblast, which is 95. 90... Something like that. I know it's not 100. <laughs> Less than 100, more than 80. Yeah. So, Xerneas, we've rattled on about Xerneas. 95. Ah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. Eveltal's a great. Respect to Eveltal. Um, it's not going to be, like, weather duo good. And if anything, if, uh, if, if redirection starts to become popular, Eveltal probably gets worse. Because a lot of the redirectors, like we said, are fairy types. So even your dark type with dark aura attacks, redirecting the fairies get much worse. Uh, Yveltal doesn't get any steel coverage. That, that's the one complaint I have about Yveltal, is its coverage is pretty bad. But what it does good, it's insane at. Yeah. Uh, and that's, that's the thing, you know, it, it has access to, like I was telling Adam last night when we were talking, like, it does like four different sets and all of them are great. Yep, there's and the physical set with Sucker Punch, there's the support set with Tailwind and Foul Play, there's the special sweeper sets like Iran and Draft League uh, with Focus Blast and Heat Wave and Max Airstream and Max Darkness. And then there's also just like, like you said, there's a support variant, and then there's just like weakness policy, which you never know what's going to be on it. Yeah. Like, it could be any combination of from Sucker Punch to Heat Wave and everything in between. Yeah. Probably not everything in between, because you probably don't want to be a mixed attacker, but... It's not the stupidest thing. You could you could honestly be a plus two one thirty one sucker punch is probably going to pick up a bunch of KOs. Even if you are minus attack nature, that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like being attack like being minus attack while also being dark aura stab boosted kind of just outweighs it. Yeah, <laughs> like it's like dark aura minus one. It kind of just equals out. Um. Yeah, your Voltal's very, very flexible. It does a lot of stuff. Uh, it is definitely one of the S tiers that if the format goes a certain way, it can definitely fall into the A tier. Though. Yep. Like, it's definitely just... Like, if we scary. if we see a big uptick in, like, Togekiss and all these fairies that are threatening to it, then mm, probably right. not. So Zygarde. Uh, I'm going to leave it in B for now. I hold the right to move it up into high A at a later date. When we come back to this, which we will, probably in six weeks or whatever, Zygarde's probably going to be the one where it's like, man, we were really low on it. Uh, this is the one where I'm, I'm just like... This is the one where I want to put it in S because I know what it can do. I've seen what it sits there and does. But and when it, when it, but it right does now, its thing, it is absolutely crippling. It's insane. Yeah. Uh, but right now, when we don't know what the format's going to look like, we don't know how it's going to shake out, I want to just hedge my bets and just leave it as a high B because Zygarde does, does a million things, just like Yvalto does, but it has that four times weak to ice. It has that weak to fairy, weak to dragon, uh, weak, uh, not weak to grass, thank God. <laughs> my, my, my thing about this is, of all the restricted bonds, I think Zygarde benefits the most from Dynamax. By far it does, yeah. Zygarde is one, and then I think Necrozma, the Necrozma Dust, probably is the other mm -hmm. best Dynamax. I, I think those two are probably, and, and like, obviously, Groudon's good, Kyogre's good. Like, Ky Dynamax Kyogre's insane. Yeah. Like, there's there's no other way to put it. And like, Dynamax Diablo is also just insane, but, like, when you're comparing it to Power Construct Zygarde, like, what would you rather have? Um, so the cool sets with Zygarde, uh, like glare, coil, breaking swipe, and then like whatever the physical signature ground move is. Mm -hmm. I think it's arrows is the physical one or wave waves is the special because it is okay. Because arrows is the physical and it grounds them. And then there's core enforcer, which is a special dragon move. 
I think Wave is physical. There's also Land's Wrath. Land's Wrath is special, it's so special. Wave is physical. So Wave, wave is also physical. Then. Because it has four signature moves. Because it has 10%, 50%, and then Complete. And, and then, then Core Enforcer, and which Core is the Enforcer one that covers just, all of them. Yeah. It makes uh, sense if you don't think about there's it. There's four forms. Makes sense, right? Uh, Perfect sense. Zygarde ten percent. Don't even don't even worry about that guy. But it's the best doggo. It is the best doggo. But don't even worry about <laughs> but it. But see, here's the thing. It also turns into power construct. Yes, it can still do that. It can still do that. People aren't gonna respect it, and then they're gonna tie a power construct. <laughs> um, so Zygarde sets are really cool because you can access to coil. Yep. You get access to glare. Yep. Um, breaking swipe and then physical ground move. So you get to just sit there and coil up behind screens. And you want to take damage. You want them to hit you. Hit me. So hit you me, can dealer. go into Power Construct when you get to half, and then you just die to max and blow them up. Because you've been sitting here spamming coil all this time. You're now at, like, plus two with plus two defense, and you just clap them with your 130 Wormwind, or your, I think, Thousand Waves turns into 110 ground move i'm actually interested in seeing what the rest of its physical move will looks like uh, i believe it gets access to steel rock because it's a ground type it doesn't get iron head it gets iron, iron tail, tail yeah which kind of sucks yeah it's kind of lackluster there but iron is iron tail is better than no iron steel type move so uh we get an infinite number of ground coverage moves pick your poison yeah um brick break so we can do uh, brick Break and Superpower. So, like, we have good fighting coverage if we need it. Uh, our best dragon coverage, like you said, is probably Breaking Swipe. We also uh, have Outrage, which isn't awful. For physical sets, yeah. We also have Scale Shot, which, again, like... <laughs> like, the plus speed from, from Scale Shot could be good, but probably not. Imagine if Scale Shot boosted for every time you hit. Please stop. <laughs> It'd make it worth playing. It's like, here's this... They gave Dragon the, the crappiest move of the bunch. It's like, here's this multi-hit Dragon move with base 25 power. I'm upset they didn't give it to Cloyster. I cannot stress that enough. <laughs> I want you to know... Cloyster doesn't have scales. But it's literally a clam. It looks like it has scales because it's a Pokemon, but still. <laughs> um, Zygarde, yes. Yeah, I reserve the right to move Zygarde up later on. I think this is going to be super, super underrated. And when yeah. we come back, I would be very surprised if we if we don't comment how much better Zygarde is than we give it credit for. Okay. Gen 7 here. We're going to talk about Solgaleo and probably the... We're going to talk about these two together and these two together. And All right, we'll bust this one out really quick. Necrozma's not good. Monopsychic's not a very good typing. Uh, C, C Mewtwo. <laughs> the thing is, is, Mewtwo has good coverage, at least, and, like, can actually accomplish stuff. Kind of, not really. Photon Geyser is a 120 base special. Psychic, a physical psycho. Physical the, psycho the good thing about... Oh, Photon Geyser could be either or. Yeah, it depends on what they do. The thing is, you don't want to run Photon Geyser on Duskmane, because when you max it, it becomes a special move, which yeah. is super important. It is a special move in the code, but it... It uses whatever stat is higher whenever you use it. But for the sake of Dynamaxing, it says, all right, well, this is a special psychic move. move. Yeah, it's a special yeah. psychic move at, at base, so it's going to be a special Dynamax move. Yeah, uh, yeah, pretty pretty much. Necrozma's not good. Um, it gets Dragon Dance for some reason, but it's not very good. Yeah. Um, Sogaleo is a solid, beam, a solid beam on. Having Full Metal Body, which is pretty much the same as Clear Body, can't have its stats lowered. What does um, Lunala do? Lunala's is Shadow Shield. Which is the same? Uh, no, it's not the same. I don't think it's the same. I know these both get Prison Armor. Yep, and Prison Armor is really good. Prison Armor is solid rock. You get up here, you, you're, you're B. No, uh, Prison Armor is better than solid rock. Is it? Solid yeah. rock is... Half damage. Prison Armor is, you only, you take three quarters damage. So it's worse rock. Yeah, it's worse. If solid rock is half, then prison armor is worse. Yes, cool. Yes. 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 Okay. Well, my, my math was wrong. I said, find, this, find this is the bigger fraction. Find me what Shadow Shield does real quick. Uh, so if can, the Pokemon is at full HP, damage taken from my attacks is half. It's multi-scale. It's multi-scale. Yeah, it, it's multi-scale. It's probably just a beam. Yeah, mm, mm, mm. 
I mm, I think it's worse. It's, than... it, it's multi scale for what for the super effective hit. So it's just like whatever. I think it's worse than me too. No, it's not a super effective hit. It, oh, it's, it's half attack. damage on the first attack. Basically. Oh, okay. So yeah, so that's much worse. Yeah, it's really not good. I think it's like Lugia bad. Okay, I can do with that. Uh, this one is here because Prison Armor keeps it alive. Granted, you have a four times weakness to Dark, which sucks. Which I mean, so does so does Lunala, right? It's Psychic Ghost. Yeah. So it literally doesn't change types. No. They did it dirty. They needed to well, be they, like they were, Steel Ghost, they which were, I understand. It was Steel Psychic. Go psychic. I know, but it's stupid. And then you just add psychic onto it. It's the same thing that happened here. <laughs> I know, but it's still stupid. It's just how the fusions work. Um, I feel like this is probably... I know, think it's better than the cure forms. I, t- I don't it know. It suffers from the same problem with Quasit as it has a very bad fortress weakness, but it actually, like... But then, what? Like that, that's your the, ability. The, the your big, ability is the reason you're not going, going to die. Yeah, but the big thing is, like... When one of the best mons in the tier is uh, Evolsal, <laughs> and when we get to it, Calyrex Ghost Rider, it's just like, yeah. Uh, I, I uh, no, it, it doesn't have just one. It has two four times weakness because you also have Ghost. So it's like, yeah, yeah, this is real bad. Put him, yeah, mm, mm, yeah. It's better than regular Nala <laughs> because we can survive there. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we have the prison armor we can try to survive, whereas Lunala is just like, Half of 400 is 200. <laughs> We're just dead. <laughs> um, but Sogaleo and Duskmane are definitely, definitely better than these two for sure. Oh, Duskmane, by, Duskmane, by a mile. Duskmane is better than Sogaleo in my opinion just because just like Sogaleo, like... It's it, it's fine. It, but... it still, it's like super effective. It's hurt it a lot. Ground, dark, ghost... All those things are popular. They really hurt it. Whereas you have Prism Armor on Necrozma Duskbane, and you don't die immediately. Slap an Assault Vest on this thing, make it bulky as hell. Or, or, you know, Trick Room it, and then a Weakness Policy, and then you're also just fine. So, fun calc. I had to prep for Necrozma Duskbane. My opponent didn't even bring it. Yep. But I had to prep for it with Yvaltal. Yvaltal still goes through Prism Armor. Sick. At plus two, you still blow them up with a max. Oh yeah, darkness. you were you were policy this week, weren't you? Yeah, I only had to use it once. <laughs> My evolutal, um, it didn't do a lot. I think it went like you had like tailwind and sucker punch and foul <laughs> no, play. No, it was foul play, snarl, uh, tailwind, and I thought it was sucker punch. Taunt. Taunt. No, yeah, we we traded. Uh, foul play. We, we traded Sucker Punch out for foul play because of Greed It. And then he didn't bring Greed It. Bam. It's in this area. I know this for a fact. I think it's worse than Mewtwo. That's probably about right. That's about right, I feel like. Dynamax Cannon hits really hard. It does. It does do stuff, but it's just like you're, you're removing a fairy weakness... For ground weakness and the psychic weakness. And I feel like those are way more, like, way better. Like, you remove one, but gain two. That are really common. Yeah. And it's, it's fine. It's okay. It, like, it does okay. It does okay things. I know Moxie Boost has been playing with it, and, like, he's posted a couple yeah. videos with it, and it's, it's fine. Yeah, that's basically all I had to say about Eternatus. Uh, base Calyrex is real bad. I have literally nothing to say about it. Yeah, I think that's probably about right. And you go there. That's probably about right. Yeah, so, so running, running we're going to round this out here because we got to get through ladder, uh, the rumble still if we want to do anything with that. <laughs> Look, man, we're already pushing an hour and a half, and we haven't even finished these last We've, five. We rambled for about ten minutes beforehand. To be fair, <laughs> these last five I think are really important, and I don't want to skip over them. Well, I could. I, the, the the big ones are like talking about Zacian Shadow Rider, and then it's like Calyrex Ice. Those are the big ones. Talking okay. about Zamazenta. Zamazenta gets a defense boost. It bulks up in front of your opponent. Coach. It's, oh, 
That's called. Oh, uh, that. Oh, that's. That's dirty. why it's B and not C. That's real dirty. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> that's way better than I thought it was. I believe they. I'm pretty sure they gave it coaching. Check it. Double check I, for me. I'm oh. pretty sure it has coaching. Please tell me it doesn't, because that's going to be annoying as hell. Um, body press. I don't think you get iron defense, unfortunately. But a plus one body press is still decent. Um. Being fighting steel. Oh, we get coaching. <laughs> we get iron defense. We get body press. Oh, we don't. Oh, get we don't body get body press. press. Okay, so all right, this thing sucks. Press. Cut it. <laughs> no, we're gonna stay in B just because we have bo- we have access to coaching, um, and we're very defensively bulky. We aren't weak to fairy when we're in the crowned form. Correct. Uh, we are weak to fighting still. Oh, I keep thinking this thing is also fairy steel. I forget it's fighting steel. Yeah, it's fighting steel. It's it's, it's gonna. It gets laser focus. Oh boy! Until the end of the next turn, users moves crit. It's a really weird move. Laser focus into behemoth bash. Bang. Plus two hundred power against a dynamax target crit. Now you pair this next to <laughs> cloister, right? <laughs> Coaching our cloister, laser focus into rock blaster, icicle spear. I have a new goal in life. Okay, uh, moving on back to cat. What are you? Are you you can just skip. Yeah, yep, yep, we're just skipping. We're skipping. Uh, we gotta get through the rest of these. Calyrex ice here. Uh, the only reason it's not an S tier is because it, it still is bulky as hell. Uh, it's actually faster than Glastrier. My yeah, my big thing is like, uh, you put this thing against Glastrier. They both Dynamax. Glassbear is slower. It takes the hit, triggers a policy, and then, like, deals massive damage back to you. Yeah. Like, your your higher base attack doesn't really amount to anything when both of you are Dynamaxing and you both have really good bulk. The other thing here is, like, Glassbear is such a good Pokemon. Why waste your restricted slot for the Pokemon that has got an extra weakness, isn't as slow, and it only has, I think it's, like, 20 more attack? Yeah, it's 150 versus 130. Yeah, so it's just like... And that's, you know, the the Groudon team I've been playing has Glastrier on there. Yeah, Glastrier is still a great Pokemon to play because its stats were on par with all of these guys before that. Yeah, it's 100% <laughs> accurate. It's like base 600 or whatever. It's just like, all right, cool, this is really good. I'm going to beat it up. Yeah, so and it's And then like... you give it a fusion form, and it's like, well, cool, you can set your own trick room, but like... Okay. Like, spread glacial glance is cool. It's really, really, really cool. Because um, it's a nice type. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, having, like I said, if you do its own, I think it sets its own trick room. Yep, it does. So it does a very good, just like, oh, here's my stack attack, I'm a stack attack, it sets trick room for myself, blah, 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 blah. But uh, you're, you're base 50, right? Base 50 mo- yep. speed. So, glass well, like, like said, Registeel. Yeah. Like, it's, it's base 50. Uh, I think Alola Marowak outspeeds you. Underspeeds uh, well, uh, you. And yes. Trickerbout speeds you. Yes. So. Because base you just, 50. You get blown up by Poltergeist if you're not careful. Yeah. <laughs> like, Poltergeist plus Glass, you're hitting you, just. You're dead. Alola Wack could be really good in this format. Like, 100%. Fire yeah. Ghost is a very good typing. It resists a lot of hits. That the, are... the big thing you have to look out for is Shadow Rider. Yeah, Shadow Rider. I played it yesterday. Uh, Astro Barrage does not do as much damage as I thought it would. It's still really good. It's still good. Oh, don't get me wrong. When I Dynamax that sucker? Were you were you pairing it next to Clef? No, I had paired it next to Tornadus. See, uh, the, the teams that I have consistently I lost to... I even said to, it in the video. It's always next to Clefairy. It, it, when it's next to Clef and you can, like, helping hand plus pick up KOs, like, it, it does specter things. When you pair it next to when you pair it next to Clefairy, you get the extra boost to your defenses, which is cool, sure, whatever. But the big thing is you get helping hand and you just steamroll. Mm-hmm. And not only that, but like, sure, you're also frail, so like you can take the extra defense boost from friend guard, but you can also just ignore hits with follow me. Yeah. Um another good Clefairy partner is Zacian. Uh, Zacian, there, there's not much to say about Zacian. Zacian hits like a truck. 170 base attack, 
130, one like 150 base speed. 148. 148, that's the number. It's a really weird number. I, I knew it was close to 150, because Shadow Rider is 150. Yep, 148. Zacian's one, because Shadow Rider outspeeds you by two. And then Reggie Lucky outspeeds you like crazy. So what's great about this is you have the attack stat of Cure and Black, but you get to ignore Intimidate because you go to plus one. Yeah, so. that's why it's better. Uh, the one thing you gotta be on the nose for, it is super minor. Uh, burning Jealousy will burn you. Yep. The turn you come out. If you, if you go out at the, the same time, yeah. it will get you that turn. Yep. Um, but if you switch into it, it won't. I don't know why it works that way. It does. I don't know why it works that way, but it does. They tested it. I, I watched them test it. It doesn't, it just some, for some reason it works that way. But I don't know. I don't know. But you I don't know. But it when they tested it then it did that, I was just like, huh. Neat. That's like the complete opposite of how that should work. I don't know. Oh. Okay. I was watching James Beck play with it and they were talking about that and I'm just like that's weird. Why does that work that way? Yeah, that's that's a weird one. When you like swap, like if you start out and you get it, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But like swapping out, like swapping in, but you don't get hit, it was just weird. But Zacian, like we said, Behemoth Blade, double damage to Dynamax is a hundred power base uh, for Steel types. So it's like it's one technically one fifty stab goes to three hundred for double power, right? Is that how that works? One more time. So it's 100 plus stab. If your Dynamax, it doubles it, so it goes to 300. Yes. For calc. So for, for calc purposes, it's really simple. Um, something that you can be aware of is whatever the damage calculator says you're going to do to non, this is non-Dynamax, it's the same number. Yeah. It, it, as long as they are candied appropriately, it's the same number. It took me like three different calcs to be like... <laughs> Why is this not change? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, because it's a double damage. It's going to hit, it doesn't matter what. Um, Zacian's move pull outside of that. Close combat, wild charge. I've talked about those a couple times now. Um, there's a couple other random coverage moves it gets, which are super cool. Uh, most notably, it also, the main sets were like su- substitute. I've been seeing that run around. So you sit there and you substitute turn one. If they can't, hit, if they can't break the sub, you just sit there behind the sub and just clap them consistently. But yeah, I think this is a solid... This is the d- d- definitive VGC tier list. It's very even. Honestly, yeah. Is there anything we want to move before we lock it in? Mm-hmm. Like, looking at these guys, I feel like like this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine... This is, like, iffy. I could go down here, like, up here. Yeah, I don't hate that. I'm looking through these. I think Duskmane is probably better. Yeah. I I, I like Duskmane better than Xerneas, but I don't know if Duskmane's better than Dialga. That makes sense. Which is weird, because I think Xerneas is better than Dialga. I don't think that one's particularly close. It's weird, you know what I mean? It's like mm-hmm. it's steel. No, I, I agree. It's weird. See, now we're getting to the nuance of tier lists. Yeah. I'm just going to move all these. I, I, I really think that's appropriate. Like, I think C is like the baseline of like, you can play these. I think this is probably about right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm locking that in. Nope. Uh, this, is, this is like the one I'm iffy on, too. No, I think it's fine in A. Alright, lock it in. Lock it up, lock it in. No, no, don't do <laughs> do not do Lugia dirty like that. It does nothing. It is bulky. It has to have the... You have to proc the policy to even have a chance of... Bulky. That's a good spot. <laughs> Can you, you can be bulky as hell, and if you do no damage, it means nothing. Bulky. <laughs> yeah. I I think this is fine. We're gonna save it. All right, lock it in. 
Download image. Sweet. We have downloaded the image. All right, cool. Get this set back up here. Okay. You want to talk about the Rumble? Do we have stuff? I know we threw stuff up on uh, on Twitter. Honestly, I don't know anything about it because I haven't really looked at it. Uh, I know how I won. Yep, that's about all I know. Uh, there was a big talk about Jigglypuff and Clefable, a Clefairy, for a while. Looking for it? I can't find it. We might have to just come back and talk about it later. Alright, that's fine. We can talk about it next week. Because then we actually have stuff to talk about next week. Yeah. Plus, start of week one for, uh, series eight. Yeah. Next week. Yeah. You know what that means? I'm going to ladder. Yeah. We're going to be a Master Ball gamer. It's going to probably be a lot more streaming because Series 8 is actually going to be fun to play in because it's like all the restricted. So oh, whatnot. agreed. Honestly, this first week has just been bananas, to put it very simply. It has been very crazy and just like, all right, well, this is cool and this is fun and I can play with this and this is awesome. And, well, yeah. that one that one sucks to play against. I don't want to do that, but it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, definitely, definitely excited to get started playing with this stuff. Um, you want to go ahead and get us on out of here? I think so, man. I got, I got a whole lot of nothing. I'm yeah. gonna go watch uh, random inputs somehow eventually beat Pokemon Red. <laughs> I have to go make dinner. <laughs> They're not even out of Pallet Town. <laughs> They've been going for 150 hours. <laughs> get us out of here. All right, everyone. As you all know. Um, if you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications when new stuff goes live. Leave a like and comment down below of um, what you think of the tier list. What are we completely wrong about? And what are we overestimating? Um, if you're not listening on YouTube, make sure you go and uh, follow the YouTube link down in the show notes and do all that same stuff we just talked about. Um, if you're listening on Anchor, uh, you can always... Drop a... What's the thing called? It's a, it's like a sponsorship is what it's called. Uh, it, the so, user... Su the viewer support or whatever yeah, it's called. So the link will be in the description on YouTube and it'll be in the description of the podcast. You go to that link, you can donate a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars. I believe it's... Or a custom amount somewhere in there. Um, we don't have anything set up for it, like, uh, like rewards or systems or anything like that, but it does help us get things off the ground and moving like the website we're working on like merch that everybody's been asking us about for months now we have so many merch ideas lawyers like, lawyers are expensive man <laughs> we have so many things like ideas coming at us that we just need to like we just slow down make sure we do it right the first time and have everything like get off the ground at once so yeah. um as little as 20 to 25 cents an episode you could you could make us happy yeah <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see. You can always go follow us on Twitter at LR Lessons, myself at Carter Noble 25, Carl at musical underscore 33. Uh, Carl and I are both going to be on Twitch doing all kinds of neat stuff over there. Um, I am at Mr. Missouri 25, Carl is at musical, um, Twitch, YouTube, Discord. That one, the the one that, uh, dude, I don't know how I can forget Discord. I'm on it literally 24 hours yeah, a day. Yeah, it's glued to our phones. Like, it's always open, always talking with people. It's great. Our Discord is fantastic. I cannot, cannot recommend it enough. Um, if you're iffy on it, join it. It just... You can join I, it and lurk. We don't care. We have a plenty of those, but those who are active in it have... We've had multiple people say that it's the best place on the internet. Yeah. Um, we can't technically say we're the best place on the internet, but they can for us. <laughs> Why can't we? Uh, because... Is it a copyright reason? more of showboating, and it's just, like, a, a humbling thing. I just, I don't want to say we are, but if everybody says I mean, we are, I I'm will. Fine. I think we are. <laughs> um, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I think we're great. <laughs> outside of that, make sure you come join the Discord. Yeah, our Discord's yep. fantastic. Can't recommend it enough. It's the best way to keep in contact with us. So that's going to be it, everyone. We will be back next week to talk about who knows what, because that's a week away. So yeah. have a good one. Peace. Peace.